Okay, we're here in Canmore, Alberta, site of the 2010 Mountain Bike National Championships, talking with Max Plaxton, who's just finished second. Congratulations, Max. Thanks, Rob. Now, another year uh, chasing Jeff Kabush. Yeah. Uh, second again, but uh, I'm pretty confident, you know, I'll, I'll grab that jersey one of these years, and, you know, when I do, when I do it, it'll be, it'll be extra sweet, but... Yeah, you know, Jeff's a you know, great one of the top guys in the world. So being second him is pretty pretty decent. Now it looked like on the middle of the race you had a bit of a problem because you came off that lead group for a little while. What what uh, would happen? Just in one of the last corners before kind of coming onto the pavement, there's this loose section, and I just kind of hit a rut and had to clip out. And that's lost a few seconds, but uh, I got back on. But you know, Jeff was riding pretty strong, and when he punched it, I think on the fourth lap. Uh -huh. I, I was kind of at the limit, um, but uh, no, I'm happy. So. Okay, so how was the, the course out there? Because been, been, before the race, there had been a lot of complaints that maybe it wasn't tough enough, it wasn't tactical enough. How was it as, as, as when you were racing it? Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a hard course, fast course. Um, you know, I think the, it would have been nice to have a bit more selective sections, you know, some harder, some harder, maybe some steeper climbing, some more technical descents, but you know, I think the strongest guy always wins. Uh, I'm just happy to be racing, to be honest. Like, I had a pretty bad crash last weekend and had a concussion, so I'm just happy to be here. And, you know, I'm pretty happy, so. Yeah, we heard about that. Um, so, um, are you still feeling, the effects, <laughs> still feeling the effects of that? Yeah, I've been, all week, I've just been kind of foggy and having some headaches and yeah, you know, their legs have felt good, but as soon as I start to kind of go hard, it just kind of, it's hard to explain, but just don't feel too sharp, right? So I wanted to be careful out there, not risk it, not risk crashing again. And uh, yeah. I'm happy, I'm going to take a little break now from the okay. bike. I mean, you know, I've been going, been going, been going pretty hard since March, you know, winning that Triple Crown in California. So it's been a good season so far. And, okay. Um, so what's uh, what's the plan building up towards Worlds? Uh, I'm gonna do uh, TR3. Okay. Um, and then I might even go back to Quebec for the Roman Canada Cup. To see how my point situation is. Right. Uh, and then come back to Victoria and train hard for, and then do uh, hopefully win them for the finals. You know, it'll, it'll be a tough race starting, you know, kind of near the back. But I think it'd be just be a good tune-up for Worlds. So. Right. Okay. And then Worlds. I mean, you've pretty much assured your spot there. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to racing at Mont Anne? I am very, very excited. Uh, it'll be my, my last race this season and uh, you know, I'm definitely gunning for, for a top 10. So. Good, I'm well again, excited. thanks. thanks yeah, congratulations. Yeah.